Hi everyone, it's me Darlene and welcome to Discovering Knitting. This episode of Discovering Knitting, I am doing a little yarn haul and I'm going to want to get your advice on some stuff. Not a lot of stuff, just one thing I want to get your advice on. But I just really came on here to do a quick yarn haul. Um, to all of my subscribers, welcome back. To all of my new subscribers, welcome. And to everyone who's watching this, not a subscriber, welcome. Um, if you'd like, go ahead and look at some of my other videos. Consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. I try to respond to every comment I can. Um, and I greatly appreciate you. I greatly appreciate everyone who subscribed. My old ones, my new ones, my medium ones. And I appreciate the ones who even haven't subscribed and just like watching my videos. Also... If you want to see some of the things that I work on, I post them on Instagram a lot. So if you have Instagram and feel like following me, you can go to discovering underscore knitting. And that's where I post all of my Instagrammy things. So um, I think that's all I had. Excuse the hair. It's not done. I was reading a book and working on my yoga pants. It's the weekend. You know, I'm chilling. I got a new shirt. So I put the new shirt on and it's kind of cute like, but other than that, disregard this you know I, it's had better days okay so getting into this video i was going to i was making my niece those wristless mitts that i showed you guys a couple of videos back and i ran out of the blue brava premium acrylic from nitpicks so when i went to the website i didn't want to just order one hank and pay shipping cost to have it delivered so i ordered a nice little nice little bunch of yarn does that make sense nice little bunch of yarn i ordered a good little bit of yarn so i could make my order worthwhile and i was thoughtful in this order i didn't just get something i'd used before like a merino or mohair i decided to get something that i'd never worked with before but i wanted to work with so they had this yarn in like you could get it as a bundle where you could buy like a bunch at one time and get like a discount so that's what i did so let's go ahead and get into this box from nitpicks and we're going to open it up excuse my background i just i wanted to get some place where i could open the box up i've got my little tabletop stand for my camera so i figured this would be the best place to do this so let's go ahead and get into it and I wanted to get you your advice about something later, but I'll talk to you about that later. Now, what I ordered was yarn I've never used before, and I've always been curious to use it, but I just I just never thought to get it because I'm so in love with Moreno. That's usually what I order is Moreno wool for everything, or like a mixed combination of like cotton and acrylic or something like that. So Nitpicks had where you could get a bundle of uh, their Simply Alpaca. And so what I did was I got the Complete Simply Alpaca Value Pack. And the Alpaca was like $12.99 a hank. And if you order the Value Pack, you got it for like $10 a hank. So I paid, instead of paying like $160 something dollars, I got the Value Pack for like $120. And it came with various kinds. It came with Simply Alma Alpaca, Solstice, Alphonse, Alfie, Alonzo, Alton. All of them begin with A's. I guess A Alpaca. And so these are the hanks that I got. And, oh, it's it's soft. It's really soft like Moreno. So let's try to get a close-up on this. This is Simply Alpaca. It's Aaron Weight. And this is the color Alton. And it's 246 yards and it's 100 grams. It's a four weight, 100% super fine alpaca. It takes an I to a K crochet hook and a seven to a nine knitting needle, hand washing cold and lay flat to dry. Isn't that beautiful? And it's softer than Moreno. But it says it's a four weight, but this looks kind of like a bulky five. What do you guys, well, maybe it is a four. Okay, I had too many of them. Yeah, maybe it is a four. Um, all the specs are the same. And this color is Alonzo. It's like a grayish hue. 
this color is Aldonis. Not Adonis, but Aldonis. Aldonis Alpaca. This is Allison. So I guess they gave all the alpaca different names for A, the letter A. So um, we'll run through them. If you don't want to see me run through them all, this is Aldonis and Elena. So, because this is a twisted, it's mixed. Aldonis and Elena. This is Alton and Elena. So I guess when they mix it with white, Elena's the white. And they mix it with the various colors. This is a very pretty color. And when I was going to order it, I was just going to order all of these. But Elena. But I said, no, let me get something with some color in it. Because I could get the value pack and make a really nice sweater, um, cardigan or something. And it'll blend because all the colors are in the same family. Instead of trying to find one of the same color. So... This is Alfie. This is really soft. I didn't know a packer was this soft. <gasps> this is Alma. It, it, it's, it's like butter. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna like working with this. This color is Alexis. And like I said, it's normally $12.99 a Hank. Um, but because I ordered the value pack, I got it for like $10. 23 a hank so i saved about three dollars and this is alphonse this is alfie and elena and that's it so i got one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11. I got 12 Hanks for $124 of 100% super fine alpaca. Isn't that gorgeous though? It is, I wish you guys could feel this. It's super, super soft. And I don't know if people are allergic to alpaca because I know some people are allergic to wool, but alpaca is like a different kind of wool. It's like a, it's from the alpacas. <laughs> That was so silly, but I think this is a better brand where it's not as itchy. But oh my goodness, some people do have wool allergies, so I'm assuming if you're allergic, you're allergic. But like I said, I got 12 for 124. And then I got a one skein of the 100% premium acrylic, five bulky, takes a 10 or 11 knitting needle, a K to an M crochet hook. And this is Solstice Heather, so I can finish up my niece's uh, wristless mitt and I can ship them off to her. But I've always wanted to work with the alpaca and I wonder what my project is gonna be with this. Should I make a nice little blanket or should I do like a cardigan? Should I do like a nice sweater? I could probably get away with doing a sweater and maybe a hat scarf set. Let me know what I should make with alpaca or what alpaca is good to knit with. And um, I will see if I can find a pattern for it, but I kind of want to do like a big juicy cardigan, a long cardigan for it. But let me know what you guys think and see if I can, maybe I can knit up a couple of halter sh uh, sweaters with this. I don't know, but we'll find something to do with it. And um, I ordered this last week, Friday or Saturday. And it's Saturday now, so it only took about a week to get here. Packing slip. And so my shipping was free because I ordered over $50 or something like that. And so that's what I got from Knit Picks. So like I said, this was a spur of the moment order because I wanted to get one skein to get my, sis my niece's um, wrist warmers out the way, but decided I had extra income because I've been working so hard lately. So I decided to try the value pack of alpaca because I wanted alpaca, because I was gonna buy Moreno, but I was like, I got enough Moreno in there. Let me get something different. So I might have a new favorite. So that's really all I wanted to come on here and show you today. Um, just to let you know, I'm close to 400 subscribers. Once I hit that 400 subscriber mark, you guys know how I do. I give away yarn. 
and I put a big container of yarn I got from Hobby Lobby away. I don't know if you saw a video where I took where I did the tutorial, the one tutorial I did, and I said that yarn was really rough. I think that yarn would be better for crocheting its baby yarn instead of knitting because it's really rough on my hands. So I have a huge box of that that I'm giving away, similar to the box of yarn I gave away on um, my birthday live. But I think I'm going to split this up and do a bunch of giveaways to a bunch of different people, maybe like 10 people. So for my 400 subscriber giveaway, I'm thinking maybe doing like 10 winners. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try to work it out. But if not, I'll just do one winner and do one giveaway. Also, I have a dilemma and I need your help with it. I'm drinking tea because it's cool here in Atlanta now. But I noticed that when I sit in my office crafting room, it's the hotter of the, of all my rooms. And so I get hot, but when I turn the fan on, I get cold. So I'm drinking tea to kind of combat the fan because if I turn the AC on, I'll be freezing. But anyway, outside of all that, y'all know I digress a lot. I, I don't even segue because I just jump. So anyway, I wanted to get your advice and tell me what you think. I've been wanting to order this series. I found a new author called Pam Godwin, and she has this um, Deliver Me series, which consists of nine books. And then I'm ordering a book about witches, a witch book. Now, I can order those books, which will be 10 books for about $90, and enjoy those books. And on my staycation that I have coming up in October, re-knit, re-knit, finish my diamond art painting and just enjoy life. Or I can take that $100 that I budgeted because I budget a certain amount for fun stuff. Or I could take that $100 and buy um, a ticket to go see Slipknot during my staycation. Slipknot's coming on the 23rd of October. My vacation starts on the 18th. And I could go to the Slipknot concert with Kill Switch, Fever 333, and go to that concert on the 23rd. Or I could order 10 books, stay home, diamond art paint, knit, do YouTube videos, and read. I don't know which one to do. Both of them are equally good. <laughs> like I'm excited about Slipknot. But literally, I'm excited to stay home and get this book series because Pam Godwin, I just found out about her and I'm reading her Tide series. And honey, it's great storyline. It's spicy. It's dark romance. So it's trigger warning-ish. But it's the kind of books that I like. And like I bought her books and over the course of a day and a half, I read the entire series, which is only consists of three books but they're good reads and I'm just enjoying it. And when I when I wanna put it down because I don't want the book to end too fast, I'll pick up my knitting. So let me know what you would do. Would you get the nine books and just knit and diamond art paint and read? Or would you go to the Slipknot concert and all this is based on the $100 you budgeted to spend for yourself this week? What would you guys do? Let me know in the comment section. Would you go to buy the tickets to the Slipknot concert? And the, and the ticket um, where I would sit would be similar, a little bit closer than where I was at the corn concert. Or would you stay home and then finish up your diamond art, read your books, and knit? Like, literally, both of them are equally as good. <laughs> like, I'm choosing to experience both of them. So let me know what you would do. Would you buy the ticket to the concert or would you do a staycation and just all week lavish yourself in your hobbies and shooting videos? Let me know in the comment section what you think. That's my dilemma. Cause like, I don't know, like I was gonna buy the tickets today, but I was like, no, I can't buy the tickets because I'm gonna get these books. <laughs> I don't know what to do. So. That's my dilemma. Let me know what you guys think about that. And also chime in with that packa. Tell me if you like working with that packa. If you don't like working with it, what you do and what you don't like about it. Give me some suggestions of some great projects to do with that packa. And um, 
I'll take that in consideration because, hey, I may knit during my staycation. So, but anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I hope this video wasn't all over the place. I hope it wasn't weird. And until next time, I guess tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a Sunday sit and knit. I don't know what I'm going to talk about because I don't really have nothing going on right now. But we'll do a sit and knit because I am working on my yoga pants. And until next time, talk to you soon. Bye.